Oh, somebody say, God, give me this active blessing in 2010. We've been passive for so long because we just say, well, bless you. Bless, uh, I want an active blessing. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. A blessing that we're going to rumble in 2010. Somebody say, hallelujah. I get a little excited. Mm -hmm. So we look at what, what we're going to rumble with. God, he has blessed us. The next slide. He has blessed us in 2010 and he has given us a gift. He has given you a gift. Touch your name and say, God, he has given you a gift. This is his gift of blessing upon you. Now, what are you going to do with this gift of 365 days? Somebody say, uh-huh. Hear what he says. He has given us a, what, a gift of what? Number one. My technicians, somebody step by that thing for me, please. He has given us a gift of 12 months. Okay, go ahead. Five hundred and twenty-six thousand. Thirty-one million. Five hundred thirty-six thousand seconds. Hallelujah. So the gift that God has given you, 12 months of the year, 52 weeks, and these are gifts, 365 days and 8,760 hours and 525,600 minutes and 31 million. 536,000 seconds. These are gifts. You, you can write it down if you're taking notes that God has given to you. In this year, you can write books. So when next year, I'm going to write this. No, this year, maybe I got to write another book. Then. All right, sir. So I got to do something with, with 31,336,000 seconds. All right, somebody say hallelujah. And so, that, so, so time, time, some people say time is money. But stand up there. Time, come, is this. Time is life. Exhibit A, come on, exhibit A. She's looking so nice. Uh -huh. Time is, uh, come on, time is. Oh, some of you didn't know. Time is money, uh huh. But time is life. I take it another step. Could be money too if you want. But time is life. Time is your life. And as we live, there's a certain amount of time that we have to do certain things. You can't wait until you're 75 and say, well, I want to get married and I want children. Well, we got to pray that, say a prayer on you. Right, Sister Williams? But there's, there's a time. Somebody said there's a time for everything. You understand, when you're young, you got to find somebody, hook up with somebody, love you and cherish you. And so you could do your stuff. I can't hear you all up in the house. Somebody said, uh-huh. So time, time. So, so young people, where you are, do not waste your time. When you go up on the internet and you're surfing, don't, 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 just don't waste your time. YouTube, YouTube all the time. Somebody say, uh-huh. And somebody say, Facebook. Somebody say, uh-huh. I love Facebook. I'm there all the time putting up my sermons and everything. So I ain't gonna, I'm going to hit Facebook too hard. But I evangelize on, on, on Facebook. <laughs> uh, somebody say, uh-huh. So don't go there, you see, because on the internet, you, you can do Spanish, French. You just go to the site and then locate it. And you hear them speaking back to you audibly. And you, you, uh, you, they pronounce it, you pronounce it. Uh, our young people should be all A students. Somebody said, uh-huh. They, they even have the stuff online. Man, I said, man, if I, I used to have to be talking, pulling books, big books to the library every time. Or you just get your laptop and you go up and you start surfing. You understand me? Get to know a new word every day. And the Webster, you just go click, click, and it tells you the announcement of this word is. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, the pronunciation. You understand me? Hey, there's a, there's a, man, listen, we are supposed to be governors and kings up in here, young people. Come on, young people. So don't, don't get there and just waste your time and, and look for all the trash on the internet. Uh, but but waste, use your time wisely. You understand me? And young people, do not wait until you become old. Right now, you could write a book. Alana, you could write a book right now. Yes. You know all about life and write something about what's happening. Stories about St. Thomas, about your life. You understand? Write songs, okay? Write your chess book, how to play chess. Write there, how to do it. They draw it out and we, you know, the moves. Make some money. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. Because we want some young billionaires. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. And he's a good salesman too. So here we have a businessman here. Somebody say, hallelujah. And we have a pilot over there, Brother George. Somebody say, hallelujah. 
So you use your time wisely. Somebody say, use your time wisely. You know, I was checking in with Brother Josh. I said, Brother Josh, do you have, um, uh, Brother Samuel, rather, do you have that, um, do you have that software? Can you say he wants to be a pilot? So I said, do you have that software home at home? He said, yeah, I have it. So he goes flying every day with his software. How to fly and how to land. Yeah, so, so when we start going to Africa, you know who I'm going to hook up with? He's been practicing a long time. Yeah. I want to reach safely. Somebody say, uh-huh. So I've been checking in with him. Somebody, let's sound off again. The gift. God has given us a gift. So if you, ha- if you happen to receive a gift for Christmas, uh, God has given us what? Let's go how many? 12 months right now. 52 weeks. What else? 365 days. 8,760 hours. 500 600 minutes, 31 million. 536,000 what? Seconds. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to waste it? Somebody say no. So this year is a gift from God. We have done nothing to deserve it, earn it, or purchase it. Like the air we breathe, time comes to us as a part of life. So therefore, do not what? Waste it. Stephen B. Cloud says, the new year is full of time as the seconds tick away. Will you be tossing time out of the window or will you make every minute count? What are you going to do, people? Yes, we're going to make every minute count. Somebody say hallelujah. Because time is your life. Well, time is money too. But time, when you start thinking about time is your life and you have certain um, season in your life to do certain things, when you can see, when you can speak, when you have all your teeth, when you have 2020 vision, don't waste your time looking at the, the television, but use your vision to do something else to better your life. Somebody said that sounds good. Wonderful. So as we go on to my uh, momentum blessing, your momentum sign this year is in 2 Kings 19.21. 2 Kings 19.21 says what? And this shall be a what? A sign unto, call your name. You shall eat this year such things as grow of themselves. 2 Kings 19.29. Write that one down. And so when the hustle and the tussle and the frustration comes, it says that this this year, you things are just going to grow up all by themselves. You're going to just find money in your wallet, money, hallelujah, in your bag. Somebody say, uh huh. When you're washing your clothes and you're trying to turn over the pockets or check them, you're going to see money just start coming up inside there because he said things just going to grow all by themselves. Money just going to appear all by it. Are oh, you not helping me? Somebody say, hallelujah. So you call that what? Sweatless victory. Somebody say hallelujah. And when he said they're going to grow up by themselves, you don't get a, you do not have to get any machinery. You don't have to get no plow. You don't have to do nothing. You don't even have to go out and pull the weeds. Hey, think about that. He said, I got to step out, watch it. It's going to grow up all by itself. All you got to do is just pick the fruit and you're going to do what? Eat it. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody said, that's my God. Come on, claim that scripture, that things this year. Come on, tell somebody, I am believing that this year, no frustration. Say it one more time, everybody help me. I am believing this year, no frustration in my life concerning my marriage. That man going to grow up. That woman going to grow up. I'll let you drop off from there. My money, my money going to grow. My cupboards will be filled with food. Somebody say, uh-huh. I don't know if you ever ever say, I'm going to buy butter. Look in the refrigerator. You haven't seen the butter. You bought the butter. And when you look, you say, wait, what? There are two butter up inside there. Somebody say, uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you're going to the store to buy fruit, some apples. You open and you say, but no apples up in there. You purchase the apple, put in the apple, and you see two bags of apple up in the house. Somebody said things are going to grow. Some of you are looking at, it's, it's the Bible. Things are going to grow. Things are going to just spring up uh, all by themselves in 2010. It's in the Bible. Ain't no magic. That's God blessing you, empowering everything in your circle, in your surrounding to respond to his word. Uh, somebody clap your hands right there. That's a good one. Come on. Good, a good one, a good one. 
Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, sweatless victory. You, you got your business things to a tighter in 2010. Hey, let me prophesy here. What the word of God says that what? Things are going to grow up.